Hello, this is Thomas from Hotkey404, and if you're here, you probably know that CentOS, as we know it, is slowly approaching its end of life. So today we will do a net installation of CentOS Stream 8, and then on top of it, we will install latest asterisk long-term support version, which is asterisk 18. As usual, if you want to follow along as we type all those commands, you can visit our website Hotkey404, and the link is as usual in the description, or you can just download the file that will automatically execute everything from the video. So if you decide to skip the video and just go to the command, you might at least consider subscribing to the channel so that you'll know when we upload uh, newest videos regarding Asterisk. So now grab a coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Well, I meant uh, grab your server and let's get to work. Okay, so it's time to start our net installation of CentOS Stream 8 and I'm not going to cover every detail, just some basics, so let's just hit continue and we have plenty of options. So we will start by setting root password. At this point you, you might want to create an additional user if you want to. Uh, then it's good to set up time and date, so just click your time zone. Uh, do some network and host name configuration uh, and here we will set up our host name, hit apply, uh, do some IP4 configuration with static IP address and just turning this Ethernet card on and as you can see it's connected. Now we will set up source for our installation. So it is going to be mirror, CentOS org, CentOS 8 stream base OS and our x86 64 OS. And after that, it will enable additional options. So we will select minimal uh, installation so that it won't consume any additional resources of our server. And basically, <laughs> we don't need any additional stuff at this point. Uh, so going back to our main menu. Uh, we will do some storage configuration and of course at this point you might want to select custom storage configuration. Uh, I will just stick to automatic because, well, for the sake of this tutorial, we don't need some specific configuration. So once we have those basics, we can just skip the rest for now and just hit begin installation and wait a few minutes. So we've done uh, network installation and as you can see it's downloading all the files necessary for our installation. And I prefer that because actually it happened, uh, well, plenty of times when I've seen someone doing uh, regular DVD or CD and then after connecting server uh, they found out that there is something wrong with network setup. So doing that will allow you to have uh, up-to-date packages and also you will be 100% that your configuration is correct. So uh, once we have that, we will just reboot our system and time to jump to asterisk installation. So uh, we are going to log in as root and uh, password that we have set up in the previous step. But instead of uh, just continuing here, I'm just going to check the IP address with IPA and continue via SSH client because, uh, well, personally, I think it's more convenient. So once we are logged in as uh, root, once again, via putty, in my case, uh, we will just continue and we will start with yum-y update because I think it's usually the best thing to start with. Then we will install some necessary uh, additional packages, so yum, hyphen y install and it's going to be nano editor wget to download files tar to unzip them and uh, in addition we will install ncurses development package well it is a bit strange that uh, later we will use uh, this uh, special file that will install all those uh, pre-required packages but it doesn't install that so we'll do this right away Next step, uh, we are going to disable our firewall. So uh, when you type se status, it will show you that se Linux is uh, enabled and enforcing. So we will do nano etc se Linux config. 
uh, and instead of enforcing we will do disabled and at this point you might want to reboot your system so that this uh, additional firewall will be completely disabled or at this point you can just do set enforce zero and when you type once again se status uh, you will see that uh, it's still enabled but it's permissive so it will not mess with our asterisk installation. Uh, now, for some convenience, we can continue directory to USR SRC and here wget and finally our asterisk. So HTTP downloads asterisk org pub telephony asterisk and here asterisk 18 current, of course, star GZ. And it will download our asterisk and once we have this downloaded, uh, we will unpack it with tar that we have downloaded. So tar and then hyphen zxvf asterisk 18 current and then uh, continue to this directory. And at this point, uh, you might want to consider installing uh, one additional repository. And this is well known Apple release. Uh, so we will do that and it will enable uh, this option to have some additional packages. So we will install this uh, with yum install apple release. And now uh, time to do our main script that will install all required packages. So contrib scripts install prereq from like required and install and it will take a few minutes and we'll install all those additional packages that are required for our software to compile correctly. Okay, so at this point it's time to do some main configure command. And uh, if you're used to some previous versions, uh, probably you're thinking about adding like with Janssen bundled, with PJ project bundled, but now it is no longer necessary because it is automatically added to our configure command. So we will just define our lib directory. So we will do configure and then uh, libdir like uh, usr lib64. And there is actually no other choice because CentOS stream only supports 64-bit operating systems. So it's obvious that we are going to use that. And after a few seconds, probably you will notice an error. And this is really surprising because uh, you expect this previous command to install everything necessary, but CentOS stream, or actually starting from CentOS 8, this package libedit, uh, well, the development package, is now a part of PowerTools repository. So it will not install automatically unless you enable this repository. So we will just do DNF and then enable repo power tools and then install hyphen Y lib edit devil like development. So as of today, I mean the date of recording this video, this is the only package that is missing. But in the future, if something similar happens, you'll at least know uh, what to do. Maybe just go to power tools and you should find some additional packages there. So once we have that, we will just uh, go back to our configure command and you will have this configure libdeal, libdeal user lib46. And this time this configure command will end nicely. And uh, with our asterisk logo, it's time to hit make four times. So first uh, we will do make menu select and this will open this nice graphic menu and uh, inside you can see a lot of options like applications, bridging modules, uh, channel drivers, uh, codec translations, uh, modules, resources, <laughs> modules. Well, uh, I'm not going to cover everything from this. Uh, however, it's good to maybe scroll through the menu and see if there is something specific that interests you. Uh, then after saving and exit, or in my case, just exit, uh, we will hit make for the second time. But this is just going to be make and it is going to take a few minutes. Uh, so it will finish with building documentation and it will just tell you what to do next. Make install. Well, this is kind of obvious. So let's do just that. 
And it will end with this nice asterisk installation complete box. And inside you have few options to make samples, to make basic PBX, and I'm not going to cover all those possibilities right now. In our previous video, uh, we have this uh, covered and explained, so I will do exactly the same. So first, uh, I'm going to make samples, and this will create all those sample files with the nice documentation. And then, in addition to that, we are going to make directory with mkdir etc asterisk samples, and we will just move all those sample files there. So move etc asterisks, well, asterisk with some asterisks, uh, and we're going to move all that to etc asterisk samples. And then we will just do make basic pbx. So now when we hit ls, well, not here, so ls etc asterisk, uh, we will see all those uh, basic pbx files, and inside ls etc asterisk samples, we have a lot more with the documentation. So we can hit make for the last time, so make config, and it will add some startup files and uh, link uh, our asterisk to our config files. For example, we may now use systemctl start asterisk, and we can just do asterisk hyphen r. And as you can see, we are inside, and you have, as of today, asterisk 18.3 installed on your server. So that's it for today. We have installed asterisk 18 on top of CentOS Stream 8. So I hope you learned how to do this. So thank you again for watching and see you next time. But before we do, just please remember to reboot your system.